the 21 commands of Jesus Christ that we distinguish God's obedient people on earth. In the first part, we saw that Christ commanded us, one, to repent, turn from sin, turn to God. Two, he said we must believe, believe in the gospel, believe in Christ, believe in God the Father. In, in the third command, we saw that Christ commanded us to be born again. We must be born of God. The new birth is a must for everyone who wants to be restored to God's image and likeness, who wants to be free from every evil that the devil is doing upon the earth. Now, in this part two, in this series, the fourth command Christ gave us is the command to receive the Holy Spirit. Once you are born of God, you must be filled with the Holy Ghost. In the law of Genesis, everything God made, God filled. God made the earth, he filled the earth. God made the heavens, he filled the heavens. God made the seas, he filled the seas. God made the land, he filled the lands. God made the earth, he filled the earth. God made man from dust, he filled man with himself, with his spirit, with his life, with his totality, with his personality, and man became a living soul. Everything God made, God filled. If you are born of God, you are made. Now, for you to function in your full capacity as God upon the earth, you must receive the Holy Ghost. Each child of God, every child of God must have the Spirit of God indwelling in him to live and to be empowered. You can't be free from suffering like a man until you carry all of God. When God's Spirit comes into you to dwell in you, all of God comes into you to make you a God upon the earth. In John chapter 20 and verse 22, Jesus breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. It's a command. For ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses, beginning from where you are, to your nation, to your continent, and to the whole world. That is the will of God. That is the will of God. That is the will of God. So you must receive the Holy Ghost. It says in Luke 24 verse 49, Remain in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power on high. Don't step out until you have the power to cast out devils, the power to heal the sick, the power to cleanse the lepers, the power to raise the dead. The power to move mountains out of the way by your spoken word. The power to do all God has done, is doing, and wants to, wants to do. You must have the power. So it is by receiving the Holy Spirit that you can function as God. So Christ said you must receive the Holy Ghost. If you have not, ask him now, Luke eleven thirteen. Ask him now for the gift of the Holy Ghost and you will receive. Number five, command. Jesus said, follow me. He saw Peter and Andrew. He said to them, follow me. They left their nets. They were, they were trying to mend, to wash, rather, and follow him. He saw James and John with their father and their servants. He said to them, follow me. James and John left their father with the higher servants and follow Christ. Follow me and I will make you. He takes your following him, to be made by him. He does not make those who refuse to follow him. When you follow him, he will make you. In John chapter 12 and verse 26, Jesus said, if any man serves me, serves me let him follow me. In Luke 9 verse 23, Jesus said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. In John 21 and 22, Jesus said, follow me. That's all. Follow me. Follow me. In Luke 5, 27, Jesus said to Matthew, he was still working as a tax collector for the Romans, said to him, follow me. 
for us to be made, we must follow him. Following Christ is a command. You must obey that command. The command number six that Jesus Christ gave us is the command to pray. He says, when you pray, prayer is not an option, it's a must. Matthew chapter 6, from verse 5 to verse 13. Pray when you pray. The Christian life must be rooted in the word and in prayer. In Luke chapter 21, verse 36, he said, watch ye therefore. And pray always. Watch ye therefore and pray always. In Luke 18, 1 to 8, he showed us by the testimony of the woman, the widow who came to a king who did not fear God nor have any regard for any man, how she conquered the king by her persistent, continuous coming, making a request. Prayer is making a request. And it says, men ought always to pray and not to faint. Pray always. Pray always. Jesus said, pray always. In Luke chapter 22 and verse 40, he said, pray that you enter not into temptation. That's also in Matthew chapter 22 verse 41. In Luke 10 verse 2, he said, pray Pray ye therefore that the Lord of the harvest, that he will send for laborers into his harvest. Pray. In Luke 6, 28, he said, pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. Pray. As for your enemies, pray for them. He said, pray that the kingdom of God will come and that the will of God be done on earth as it is in heaven. Pray. Matthew chapter 6. From verse 9, pray. So we are commanded to pray. If you are not praying, you are not obeying the command of Christ. You are to pray. The next command that Christ gave us, I will show us in the next part. But remember, Jesus said, receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost is for all. For God has promised to pour out his Spirit upon all flesh. So every human being, that want to be free from living like dust, like mortal man. Every human being that must be distinguished in this life must learn the place, must learn and understand the place of receiving the Holy Spirit and being filled with the Holy Spirit and living and operating by the power of the Holy Spirit. We must receive the Holy Ghost, we must follow Jesus Christ, and we must pray. May God give us grace to do this. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Peace.